Guys, I think I just found this missing component, the secret sauce for cursor and windsurf that can actually increase the performance of cursor and windsurf at least by 10 times. So this is the tool, the missing component, the secret sauce that I'm talking about. This is actually a completely open source project. This is available on GitHub. You can just go to this GitHub URL. I'll provide the link in description. You can just go there and then just simply clone this GitHub repository. I'll guide you in detail that how you can clone this and how you can actually run this app. There are a couple of complex steps that might confuse you to install this tool so just watch this video until end i'll just try to keep it short so you can simply just like follow all of the instructions and start using this tool but before i show you that how this tool works a big thanks to this guy so i actually got this idea from this guy ai lab so just go ahead and subscribe to his channel and please do subscribe to my channel as well as you can see i was just watching a movie and then suddenly i just found this video i just got this idea i was like okay i'll just quickly share it with you and quickly make a video on this so please do subscribe to this youtube channel all right, first of all, open this GitHub URL. I have provided the link in description. The name of this tool is Shotgun which is kind of a weird name but yeah just open this repository and then scroll down just scroll down to this part installation part in here there are a few prerequisites that you need to install so before you actually carry on with the installation of shotgun you need to install these three pre prerequisites first of all you need to install go and that to particularly either this version or any version higher than this version so if you don't know what is go simply just go to google and then look for it and then you can simply just go to go dev and from here you can simply just click on download simply just click on download you don't have to do anything with go or anything else you need to simply just download and install go that's what it is so just you can simply just download if you're using let's suppose mac you just download for mac if you're using windows just download it for windows make sure that you have installed go and once it is installed you need to just make sure that you can verify the installation to verify the installation of go you can simply just open your powershell and then you can just write this command which is go and version just write this command and make sure that it shows your version so it should show something like this go version 1.24.3 which is this one that i installed so once the go installation is done the next thing that you need to install is node.js so if you don't have installed node.js on your computer already please just go ahead what are you doing with your life just go ahead and install node.js on your computer simply just go on google look for node.js lts just any lts version long term support and then just open node.js and then download node.js lts version simply just click on download install uh, click 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 and the same method to check the node installation again just open powershell and then just write node and then sorry just write node and then version that's it what's going on all right so yeah right now you can see node is installed on my computer i have this version which is version 20.18.1 that's perfect so both of these prerequisites are installed first one is go number two is node the third one that you need to install is this wales cli so this is the command provided in here simply just copy this command from here and then just paste that inside powershell again just go to powershell open powershell or just simply just open command line and then simply just enter that command and press enter i have already done that so i don't need to do that again but just like to that so once all of these three prerequisites are installed we are actually good to go ahead and then run these commands as it is so you can just copy all of these commands all together just copy all of these commands all of all together or you can simply just click on this copy button from here and then just open partial once again and then go ahead and then simply just click on control v and paste these commands in there as i told you i have already installed it if i'll just do that it will overwrite and then it will just like maybe like interrupt my current session so that's why i don't want to do that but simply just copy this these prompts from here paste that inside partial and it will automatically start installing and once it will start installing it will actually download and install shotgun inside your folder inside your computer you can either choose a location where you want to install shotgun so right now i chose this location this was inside my like any of my drive so you can simply just right click open in terminal and then paste those commands in here either if you don't want to like do that in your default directory which was in your like c directory so you can simply just like do that inside any of your chosen directory so you simply just come here open that and then paste those commands in here so what this command will do it will just clone this github repository it will then go to this uh, shotgun code directory this is the shotgun code directory this this particular directory it will then go inside and then run this command which is for go and after that it will then go to the front end directory which is this one it will go in here because this front end is in view so it will just like install all of the required packages and dependencies for that front end then it will come back it will just like enter this cd and then it will come back to this root directory so make sure that once this command ends you are inside this terminal or you can simply just close 
close that terminal you are running that command you can simply just close that terminal come here and then just again open this inside terminal like just like this and then what next thing is the most important thing what you need to do you need to simply just run this command which is whales dev let me just run that command in front of you right now so what i'll do currently this is my shortcut tool running right now i'll simply stop that and close that and what i'll simply just open my directory this is my directory i'll simply just open that open in terminal and then paste this command in there so this is my root directory paste this command in there now it will just start running this command and then it will just like open that shotgun tool for me within just a couple of seconds it will just open this shotgun tool for me so so far what we have done we have just like installed all of the prerequisites and we have installed the shotgun app this is a very simple process if you had any confusion in this installation process just leave comments in comment section and i'll actually guide you there but for now just understand that all you needed to do was just install these three uh, prerequisites and after that just run this one command and then just run this command so basically three steps only now here comes the fun part now what you need to do you need to select your project directory so this is the button simply just click on this button and then after that wherever your project is so let's suppose you're working on any certain project so right now i was just testing this v0 model so i just like created basic project just to like test the new v0 model which was recently released so i just created this project in next.js and then after that i just like made some changes in cursor i like created some components in cursor and this is a project that i want to like just open in this shotgun app so you can simply just click on the select folder just choose your pro project in here select folder and that's it and now you can see it has got your complete project folder complete project directory in here it has no access to your complete project now it can actually understand your project and in here if you see you can see shotgun context updated so it has now like updated its context it understands your project it knows what you have just opened just make sure that you just ignore any of the like these unnecessary files like dot kit file dot next file node modules file or like any of these unnecessary files you can even like just like let go readme.md file as well if you have not written any necessary instructions over there or just like get rid of any of these unnecessary files in fact you can get rid of dot cursor rules file as well if you have not written anything inside dot cursor rules file or if you just like created something like requirements.md something like any other like dot md files that we usually do to make give more con context to cursor you can just like remove that as well from here so once everything is done now next step is so it will just like show this project your project directory like this so this is like it is just like showing the structure of your project right now so this is how it is showing and everything is running smoothly fine by the way though it's running locally on your computer it's very lightweight so don't worry about that it, it won't like make your computer slow all right so next step is now we can actually compose prompt simply just click on compose prompt in here you can see this is a very detailed prompt that it has created based on our project structure so it understood first of all on this point at this point it just like understood the context understood our project and in here it just like now created a customized prompt for our project and right now you can see this is a prompt for dev or architect find bug or maybe a project update task so you can just choose any of these but i'll just go with dev just by standard just I, I highly highly recommend you just going with dev only you can see like whenever you change anything in here if you just like choose let's suppose architect it will update its context and here it will just like update this prompt based on what you chose from here now here comes the main part now you need to provide your task for ai whatever task you want to like add maybe like you want to change some like like some sort of like front end interface maybe you want to like build a new page a new component uh a new dashboard or anything whatever you want to ask ai to do just like make sure that you just like right here let's suppose i'll just just to give you an example create a new dashboard on dashboard page so i just said that now it has updated this prompt for that and in here you can see this is the first section which is role and primary core where it is actually telling cursor that who cursor is you are a robotic senior software engineer ai after that there is this uh, input section overview and then after that there is this user task so user has just like me user have just like given this task which is create a new dashboard on slash dashboard page so now this is our user task it has updated our prompt based on whatever we ask it here if you just need an advice from me and let's suppose you're building a complex project a project that has multiple components so many components let's suppose if there is any sample project that i can 
and show you let me just show you something so let's suppose these are different modules for your project so you have like first this first module that has all of these different features in there then you got like second module third module fourth module until like 12 modules so now you need to work on all of these modules one by one so what you need to do you need to just like write these modules on something like i am writing it on notion so just write these modules somewhere and after that you can just like copy paste these modules one by one just like like maybe have this one individual feature maybe this particular feature or maybe this whole module just copy this whole module but just have it one by one and then copy it from here and then after that just paste it here but like just do not copy paste all of it just like have one module and after that what you need to do now the next step is execute prompt so just like pick up one module one task that you want cursor to do just after that simply just click on this execute prompt so now what it will do this is the interesting part now we are actually going to use gemini 2.5 pro which is available for free and you can actually have generate up to i think 25 prompts a day so we can actually use it for free for 25 times a day so what you can do you can simply just like now copy this prompt from here that it's just composed for you in here simply just click on this copy all and now you can simply just go to gemini so i have just opened this google ai studio i'll simply just click on that and from here just make sure that you are opening gemini 2.5 pro preview this particular version not flash this gemini pro version this particular version all right and after that just paste that whatever you copied from here whatever this update prompt is simply just copy it from here and it is telling you that this is this is the amount of tokens that it is going to consume so simply just copy it from here and then after that just paste it in here and now what you need to do as it has like advised us to reduce the temperature to 0.1 why reducing the temperature to 0.1 is important so it cannot actually use its own intelligence it will actually just follow the instructions that are mentioned inside prompt and then it will write an update prompt for us basically so what you can do you can simply just like like copy paste or whatever you got from here paste it in here reduce the temperature to 0.1 and after that simply just press on run and now you can see right now i already have like consumed 55000 tokens in here and now i'm consuming more and i'm allowed to consume more than around 1 million tokens a day so now it has like started writing this updated diff and now what it will do it has just like finished that writing that code and what i'll do i'll simply just copy this code from here usually if there's a complex task it consumes more token and it takes more time but because this was a very simple task we did not define what that dashboard will have we just said that we need to create this dashboard page only so now i can simply just copy it from here and then i can go back to this tool and i can simply just then click on this execute prompt and then after that i can simply just paste what whatever we got from gemini and after that i can simply just click on proceed to apply so you can simply just click on that and now we can see this this particular version is coming now like it is still this apply step is still in in, in development and develop, according to developer he will update that very soon but whenever we will have we could directly apply this from here without like even going to cursor but for now what you can do you can simply just go to cursor and then start a new chat maybe paste and then you can just run this command and then it will do the task whatever task you have asked it to do just one thing before you press enter you need to like this apply diff before like you press enter and that's it that's what exactly you are required to do and now it will do its job and now for your next feature what you can do you can simply just go to uh, go back to your wherever you saved your requirements copy that second part from here and then paste that part from here now uh, like paste that inside inside here inside this compose prompt just ask it to like perform this task it will update the your prompt based on that and then you can just go back to gemini provide this prompt and then gemini will provide you updated code one more thing if you have like any custom cursor rules so let's suppose in this directory i don't have any cursor rules file so if you have like any certain like kind of cursor rules you can actually provide that in here so yeah this is how simple and easy it is and it can actually enhance the productivity so yeah this was it about today's video just go ahead and try shotgun and let me know in comment section what you think about this tool i see you next video and i'll carry on watching my movie i see you next video